hello guys through here welcome to today's video on talent so guys in today's video i'll be walking you through the simple steps of installing talent open studio for data integration so talent open studio for data integration the first thing we need to do for the installation is we can always go to the talent website and download uh, the files for installation uh, but what i found uh, easy to do uh, you can go there and click on download uh, let me actually zoom in uh, and you can find the files uh, to download so there is a paid version and there is an open studio version and the paid versions are both here i think the best way to get started with that is to you know contact a sales representative to help you with that uh, but if you are looking to evaluate or test out the open studio version uh, there is uh, opportunities to try that as well so you can always find the open studio version so you can go in uh, and click on download and that can take you to this uh, position or the link where you can download the open studio version for windows or for linux now the link might change the website as you can imagine uh, it's constantly being updated so depending on when you're watching this video things might change uh, from there but what i've found to be very consistent is if we go over to uh, google and we can just simply search from there so talent open studio download right so this usually can take us to the direct link uh, for the download and uh, you might try uh, either approach depending on on how best uh, you want to proceed with that so all right this is taking us to the big data version i don't want the big data version i just want data integration actually this free and open source products here so let's uh, click on that it takes a minute all right so these are the open source products so this is data integration and you can go ahead and click download uh, directly from the talent website now it takes a few minutes to download uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this video and then come back once the download is complete so the file has been downloaded and i have it in my uh, local directory so we're going to go ahead and unzip this All right, so now that the unzipping is complete, we're gonna go into the folder. And depending on which version you're using, in my case, I'm using the Windows version. So I'm gonna click on the Windows application. If you were working on Linux per se, or Mac OS, you wanna click the right application for the system you're working with. So uh, for this, all we need to do is just simply launch the application. And I'm using, I can see the, the name coming up here, Talent Open Studio for Data Integration version 7.2 so depending on what version you're using uh, your display might be a little bit different so let's just give it a second for this to launch and then we're going to continue so i want to accept this and now i can go ahead and create a project so there are several ways you can approach this you can import some demo projects or you can import an existing project you might have or what i like to do is i just create a new project give it a name I always want this on startup and I'll finish this so what this will do is gonna launch up the talent studio for me all right so studio just came up and what it does is it brings us to this page of resources uh, and you can definitely check them out as you're getting set up so there's a help center this is really a great a link to have a bookmark as well and this takes you directly to the talent help page well, there's just tremendous amount of documentation around all the talent platforms so you can search for whatever you're looking for is really really amazing now the next one is uh, talent forge and this is where uh, it hosts uh, technical resources and uh, opportunities for collaboration so everything from doc uh, discussions documentation knowledge base bug trackers and such so really another great one and then you have tutorials uh, courses and on-demand webinars so Guys, these are definitely amazing resources from talent that you can take advantage of to really uh, either get familiar with the product or to have uh, any or to get any questions that you might have uh, answered. But that said, we're gonna go back to Studio that has just launched, and once it comes in, uh, there's this nice welcome screen. Uh, you can click next, welcome to Studio. Uh, to the left side is a repository. This is where you build your jobs and your workflows. And you can just click uh, next on this uh, for the very first time and it's going to walk you through that so this is a repository on the left side 
uh, in the middle you have your design workspace or your design canvas this is where you actually build your workflows visually so thinking about your data integration flows this is where you're going to be building them all within the canvas now the next one is uh, the configuration tab. so uh, depending on what components you bring into the design canvas or the design workspace you're gonna have to need to configure uh, specific attributes for that component and this allows us to do it in the configuration stack. And so last but not least is your palette area and you, here you have everything from connecting to cloud systems like Azure, Microsoft, Dropbox, Marketo, Salesforce to uh, data quality components, uh, custom code, everything working with files or internet with APIs and such. So there's just a tremendous amount of components that are available for you to use data quality i must say if you're trying to do data quality stuff so all right guys so there you have it uh now we have a studio uh it's asking for some third parties libraries usually i finish that and accept uh, it installs in the background which you can see installing them and so guys there you have it this is a quick uh, installation of talent open studio uh, development environment for etl and data integration in the upcoming videos we're going to dive in on how to uh, start taking advantage of the talent open studio environment that we have uh, to build workflows and to design jobs for integrating data. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.